All right, so uh, I'm back. Oh, fuck. I was back. Give me a second. <laughs> Just drop my iPad down the void. Okay, so I'm back again for the third time. Um, Tony had to take care of something, so it's just me. What I'm gonna do is, since this is theoretically the end of the game, um, I'm going to set some markers and, you know, try and do some stuff that isn't game-related. Or, well, not, not story-related, since this is not my profile. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually played this game for realsies, so... I don't know how this is going to go. Oh, come on. How do I get out of here? There we go. There was a side quest present. Or there was a presented side quest a little further back, so I'm probably going to hit that. And we'll see how that. Oh, come on. I died a Tony death. Again, the uh, noise of sucking in. That's uh, vape. I'm trying to quit smoking. Not going well. Oh well, that actually did me fine. So I'm gonna do this. Anyway, um, on my profile, I was doing collectibles. So, on my side of the game, things are a little different. Um, Tony didn't do any of the fucking collectibles. And I'll just go put this forward. I'm on this side of the map, still on mine. And every single point on this side of the map has been cleared. Tony's a little different in his playstyle. That's what I was saying before about we have massively different playstyles. So, we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen here. I have no idea how to get over here. That's great. I don't want to go down there. I want to go that way. How do I do that? Do I have to go... Ah, okay. Didn't see that. Welcome back, Aaron. It's just me right now. Tony, um, Tony has to take care of something in one of the RPGs he's playing in, so... Since we're at the end of the game, I decided to do some side quests instead of just kind of sitting here with nothing. Let me know if the audio or anything is fucked up on here, because I can't really tell. Well, thank you. I appreciate you being here for me. At least someone is. Tony's on the patio smoking. Every Jer <laughs> Everything sounds fine. Okay, good. I've got this ghetto ass setup of using an old cat tower that I tore the shit out of. And I've got the microphone on it and food is from Dower It's great. Her highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. I would do that, but I feel really bad. Because Tony has been playing this game for ages, and now he's finally at the end of the game. I really don't want to do that to him. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. How extraordinary. What is that accent? Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, For now, all you all need, need to know, know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling Someone has to live. Yeah, no joke. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure, I'm sure you do. do. And so and does Uthid. So He's a good, He's a good man, man, so naturally the Shadow Carja want to murder him. him. I've done I've some done digging, digging, and I think I he's think headed he's for the Green Climb. It won't, it won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. Stop, Stop being, being evasive, evasive and tell me who you really are. are. Stop, Stop being, being evasive? evasive? You might, might as well tell me to stop being Oh, true. no, it's not on purpose. That's me. I can fix that. So I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Marine, and I'd like to do a favor. 
Let me fix that real quick. We had to uh, turn the microphone level really high up, so that's what did it. Um, since I'm kind of sitting in front of it right now, it really doesn't matter. So there we go. for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them if he survives. How do you know Uthid is innocent? I'm excellent at making inquiries. Look, he feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. I want this woman's cow. The idea that he would try to kill like Edelman is look. ridiculous. Yeah. He must have found this something that can embarrass the priesthood. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking also such a well-regarded man okay. for death. This is kind of how we're set up. What makes you think he's on the green climb? He knows Dang, he'll be pursued. <laughs> it's kind well, of. Well, I'm standing up, so. Once no, I no, no, down. no! I had to turn it down because the oh. game was echoing. Honestly, it's um so trial and error. Hideout so that's both familiar <laughs> and sorry. Defensible. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that he'll fall back on what worked before. You know, that should do it. You know, pointing the microphone in the right direction. That's, uh, that's a good idea. I'll do what I can for Uthid. But what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful things, little huntress. Thank you. Look okay. for three dead trees south of Sunfall. Like I said, it's super they trial and error. The, of the green climb. Good luck. PlayStation doesn't have any kind of screening or monitoring for higher-end microphones, These so it's like, good luck. Go to the three dead trees. Okay. Oh, okay. Three dead trees. Okay. Oh, wow, it's it's a distance. I'm shook. Shooketh, Tony. Shooketh. Well, at least it's not 3,000 like the last one. Yeah, but I did the walk on that one. I know we're here for a reason, but I just miss feeling useful. What's eat? Yes. All these oh, outlander man. mercenaries have a mean look about them. Were I to... Maybe I'll go get your fish bones that you've been putting off. Oh wait, never mind, not this economy. <laughs> nice. Erin says she's sipping on a Mick Ultra. Huh. <laughs> She knows I'm, what's up. I'm sure it's about all her poor stomach can handle. Oh. Yeah, I believe in her. How are you on Ridgewood? And that, mm. You're not doing too great. 500 and 641 <laughs> units? Yeah. I think we're okay. You're okay. Got one. But. You know me. Dang, you are all out of fire clean root. I don't use them. Really? You don't use the explosives? That's not for the explosives, that's for the uh, anti fire damage potions. Uh, I can see that. Man, there ain't fucking nothing. Beautiful, though. Look at that sky. Mm -hmm. It's like driving to Gatesville. We ain't found shit. Cold in the desert. Uh-huh. Already had half a bottle of Bordeaux. I'm extremely lit. This rules. Is that why you keep cheering? Way to go, Aaron. We're very proud of you. Shit. Hit the tree instead of fucking grabbing it. That's a good jam. Alright. I'm gonna see if I can kill this thing. mistake. I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Body! Oh, Trampler. I've never seen one. Forgetting you have to hold up. 
Terra coil. Oh, 
shit that I knocked off this thing. I think the monsters should be polite and go away. Yeah, no shit, man. What is this? Blood. I can't see him anywhere. That's the worst part. Like, it's dark. I can't see him. There's a fox over there. You know, I was just walking towards the side quest and all this happened. It's so weird to be able to take these things on, though. Like, in my game, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. We'll never get this far. I really should just lower the difficulty <laughs> level and stop being an idiot. I just want to fucking complete this one thing. Get your ass out here. Four percent corruption coil, forty-two percent fire coil, crystal braiding, machine scavenger box, All echo right. shells. going through stuff and seeing what we have. Like, I don't want to open the metal coils or the chill waters, because you don't need them. Nice. It's a stealth weave. Was it? I thought it was a corruption weave. Nope. Stealth. Oh, yeah, nice. Time to the crawl. <laughs> bonk, 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 bonk. on your bow. Wait, that's not the one that's Yeah, to. you're looking for that one. Yeah. Tear coil, damage coil, handling coil. Let's see if you have a better one. You do. Want me to put it on? Yeah. Thug. Why, thank you. Want to add more tear? Sure. I mean, it gets them out of your inventory, too. So yeah. That's all you got for those. Ooh, if you add this one, you'll have 15% shock. <laughs> nice. Want to do it? Yeah. Like you said, it gets them out of the inventory. Or we can add another handling coil. But this is the yeah, broadcaster. Yeah, handling doesn't. So, 43% tear, 15% handling, 15% shock, 37% handling. Did you know that if you multiple, or if you double up on some of them, it adds shock and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Because I didn't know that until late. <laughs> we have more stealth than that. There was another one right there. Was there? Yeah. 
20, oh, 13, eh, it's yeah. fine. 11, 13, it's fine. Resist to freeze. <laughs> Do resist to melee, resist to ranged attacks. Is there anything else you want to put on here? Resist range would help. 20% resist range attack, 17% resist corruption, and 7% nice. resist melee. So. Yep, one. Yeah, you're pretty thugged out for sure. What's up? So we can move this aside a little bit. There, now you can see. What up? <laughs> This will help.
might need that. These tracks lead up that rise. Must be the green climb. All right, made it. Where did you go, Uthid? Food scraps. I'll bet Uthid stopped to see if he was being followed.
He must have kept going. I've got to catch up. Machine. Guess it's been hunting. Everything useful has been stripped. Uth has been gathering components. Probably for now. It took down a Ravager. Not an easy kill, but worth it for the parts. Dead Watchers. More scrap for Uthid's stockpile. The next one doesn't miss. Uthid? You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on, then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. No tricks. Just talk. All right. Speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. All right. For weeks, each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep, no struggle. The old, the infirm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. 
I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man. And a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavas for the sun's judgment. The high priest Bahavas? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yes. He thanked me for my diligence, then had his guards release the villain. You see? It was he who ordered the culling. Then they turned on us. Should have died with my men, so their loyalty meant something. Twenty years I gave to the sun. For what? Malice and murder? As for honor? Sacrifice? True sacrifice? The kind priests and rulers know nothing of? It's all a fat joke. If it's honor you seek, the sun car just seem trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those Karja once raided your Nora lands. Raided every land we could reach. It was the sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I had... Uthid, I don't care what you did. I... I can't absolve you. But the Karja are changing their ways. You could too. Perhaps. Avad doesn't understand what the sun demands of its soldiers. Perhaps he understands it too well. Now you sound like the blameless Murad. I can believe you're a good man. But why go with the Shadow Karja in the first place? Why serve them? Because of Itaman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. Itaman's just a child. Yes. An untainted vessel. I believed he was pure. But they used him. Used our faith. I can see that now. No shadows under a noonday sun. Bahavas didn't need to disgrace my name. I did it myself, serving a rotten throne. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Vanasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. What are you? You look like a hunter. You give orders like a soldier who's been out... Mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja! The mountains belong to us! Key Cook's killers! When we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo! You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. Is that... yeah. Trouble. Ah! Oops. For the honor of the Karja! For my honor! Here it comes! Last thing you'll ever see! Keep up the attack. We still got another squad on the way. It's up to you now, men. Rally! We can still finish them!
mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the planes, car. Incoming! They're gonna wipe us out! and over. Grab what you can while we still have time. A robust defense is the most satisfying to break. All right, Marbles. We brought the priest out here, so let's put on a show for him. I know that, Hood. We've unfinished business, Bahavas and I. This will be difficult. I think you rallied to a lost cause. I don't intend to die today, Uthid. I did. But you're starting to change my mind. No! 
I'll keep at it. The last of the mark. Bahavas thought he had enough fodder to keep him safe. Now there's hope for justice. Will you come with me? This won't be easy. Bahava still has his personal guard. Have him. 
I had to come here myself to end your suffering, Uthid, and mine. The Outlanders led us here, and now that they are dead, their price is most affordable. But enough with needles. It's time for blades. Remove them from the sun's sight. The sun sets on your pathetic life. Whatever deal you worked out with him, I'll double it. More than double it. No. I'm tired of this, Bahavas. The lies and the violence in your cheap scented oils. I don't suppose you'd kill yourself. I had to. I had to. Prune the weak, or all the Karja in shadow are doomed. This solves nothing. But may the sun find some worth among your drying bones. <laughs> That was quite a fireworks show. You took your time. I was busy. What do you think happened to Yan Shund? The other mercenary band? And I had to organize passage to Meridian for a wanted man. Give us a moment, Uthid. Girl talk. You've had quite a day. I never imagined Bahavas would blunder into his own trap. His death opens up wonderful possibilities. Remember Edaman and Nasadi? The Child King and his mother guarded like hostages at Sunfall? With Bahavas gone, no one will be watching them. I want to get them out. And I could use your help. Kidnapping the Sun King of the Shadow Karja is no small task. It's not kidnapping. They want to go to Meridian, to safety. How do you know that? I've been posing as Nasadi's handmaiden. She's scared. For herself, of course, but mostly for Edaman. Why do you care what happens to them? Edaman is the Shadow Karja's figurehead. If he defects, it will remove their last trace of legitimacy. Beyond that, he's just a boy who clings to his mommy. He made a little grazer for me out of matchsticks once, it wasn't very good, but still, nobody ever made anything for me before. What's going to happen to Uthid now? Don't worry. You gave him a second life, and I'll put it to good use. He'll be welcomed in Meridian as a military advisor. Hopefully he can help Avad finish the Shadow Karja with as little bloodshed as possible. What's going to happen at Sunfall now that Bahavas is dead? Oh, it will be glorious. The priests will panic. They'll be infighting, skullduggery, and backstabbing as they wrangle for power. Best of all, they'll be distracted. Bahavas, your life brought misery, but your death is a flower that blooms in abundance. What do you need to get Nasadi and Idaman out of Sunfall? With Bahavas dead, Sunfall is the easy part. I'll handle that. The Big Fuss will be crossing the border to the Sundom. Find my friend, Three Tohuadiv, near the Branded Shore. I hired his crew to sweep the path, so all you have to do is wait for me. If this Huadiv has already cleared the area, why do you need me? 
Contingencies, little huntress. Something will go wrong, and I need protection I can count on. You. I'll try not to disappoint. The Nora said you would help me. Are we bound for Meridian? Only if you want to go, my dear. What choice do I have? None at all. I was just being polite. The snow's got a bite out here. What makes you think Avad will welcome me after I served his enemies? He's a forgiving man. Just smile a lot. You can't smile, can you? No, that's... that's a grimace. Nervous about... I am in your debt, Hunter. The Nora said you would help me. Are we bound for Meridian? Only if you want to go, my dear. What choice do I have? None at all. I was just being polite. What makes you think Avad will welcome me after I served his enemies? He's a forgiving man. Just smile a lot. You can't smile, can you? No, that's... that's a grimace. Nervous about going to Meridian? I've been a soldier for 20 years. I do not get nervous. Not even around a pretty lady? I will not dignify that with a response. The Nora said you would help me. Are we bound for Meridian? Only if you want to go, my dear. What choice do I have? None at all. I was just being polite. What makes you think Avad will welcome me after I served his enemies? Uh! So yeah. Wow. The microphone's been down this whole time. I was wondering why everybody got really well, quiet. Well, welcome the fuck back. Yeah. Uh, gee whiz, I am so sorry, you guys. Actually, it's still the. Whole... And we uh, we were being hilarious too. So yeah. Oh, there it is. Wow. The microphone's been down this whole time. <laughs> the microphone has been fucking down for at least an hour. At least an at hour. At least. Fuck. Oh my god. What is wrong with us? <sighs> it happens. It really does. I feel really bad. Fucking though, unprofessional like, ass over here. I should have been screening audio. I'm sorry. I usually do. I don't remember what I was doing now. God damn it. You're doing the Queen's like this one. Either way, y'all missed just the most hilarious we've ever been in our lives. Which is pretty, <laughs> pretty classic, honestly. Yep. Fuck us! <laughs> okay. 
I knew I should have unplugged it and plugged it back in the one that time when it went down when I bumped it. That's what did it. That was uh, it. <laughs> I was like, wow, everybody's being really quiet. That's so yeah, weird. Yeah, I just assumed that they were just mad. Like, No, they, the chat's usually popping. Not overly okay, much. Okay, Aloy, now what? Walk for you, dude. We'll just make sure we do this during extra life. We unplug it and plug it back in any time it gets full. Yes. Seconded. Also, we know we know better now. See, we don't usually use the microphone on the PS4. No, we don't. So this we is don't. unusual for us. Not to mention the Yeah, next time y'all see us like playing this game and shit and y'all can't hear us, generally we're talking bullshit. So Say something. Just, yeah, just assume that Oh boy. Oh Notch the three. Oh I will. Don't you worry. got slashed in the eye, so... He's okay. He is now, yeah. And he's hamming it up. You gotta love me. I'm broken. Oh! He jerked. You want this? The cat? Mm-hmm. No. I guess I'll deal with it. <laughs> wow, buddy. and make room for you to stand up on my back. Aww. He's just trying to be a good boy. Oh, I got ran past 
What happened? He fucking bit me. Virgil. He didn't hurt, he just startled me more than anything. Yeah, I noticed. Okay, we're good. <laughs> it was like, that. <laughs> I felt teeth and freaked out. The worst part is I was so excited to be talking about this new stream setup we have. It's all like bootleg cat tower. Yeah. Okay. Check the Discord for... Oh, what's up? Shoutouts and shit. She reminds me a lot of you. Well, the princess never leaves her bow on the table. <laughs> exactly, see? But, ma'am, it's just my, my cat. <laughs> well, according to 23 and me, I mean... There you go. I am Scottish. I'm a lot of fucking things, though. Me, too. Scottish and Mexican. Easier yeah, when I was a kid. Right. <laughs> Double whammy on that working class group. Uh. Hmm. Can you change her looks? No. No. She is how she is. Yep. They put that part of the budget into the environment. Yeah. Which... You're three toe Hwadi, right? Vanasha sent me. Show me your three what toes. What happened? I got hornswoggled, that's what. Vanasha <laughs> batted her lashes, wiggled her hips, and promised us treasure. Yeah, she does that. Clear a path for the royals, she said. Sneak past the garrison and skewer a few watches. Hardly a bother. Little did we know there was a damn People monstrosity lurking something. underground. I love it. When will I learn not to gawk at skinny girls? Same, buddy. Why do you think Vanasha swindled you? My crew came to Sunfall because we heard the bounties were fat. She offered us the fattest one of all, enough to retire on. It's, it's like a Texan Brooklyn. It Should have known I'd end up with I a rupture in my useful pots. So Vanasha needed safe passage for Nasadi and Idaman, but it didn't work out? She made it sound so sweet and easy. Find the best path to the lake, oh God, make sure like it's girl. safe. It what does. Go wrong? <laughs> That's it, out it's Dr. Girlfriend. I'm like 75% sure it actually is Dr. Girlfriend. the grinding <laughs> jaws of a heinous death beast. Something like attacked you from underground. Oh, you picked that up, did you? Oh, you yeah, picked I that up, did you? I wondered why the Shadow Kaja didn't pay attention to the pass. Well, they don't need to. A rock-eating demon guards oh, it Oh, we get to find them. more of those. It tunnels in the dirt, breaks through the earth, and blasts rocks from its stinking face. With three exclamation points. My comrades weren't so lucky. I might shed a tear if they weren't all cutthroats and cheaters. Fanasha will be here soon with Nasadi and Idaman. I've got to destroy that thing in the past before they arrive. Oh, we're gonna get them. You're not too bright, are you? Well, we didn't last long against it, but I'll tell you what I know. It has armor everywhere, a little less at the rear. When it goes underground, it will lose track of you if you're quiet. You might even be able to keep it from going under altogether if you hit its big crooked arms hard enough. That's all I can offer, friend. I promise to look solemn at your funeral before I hit the bar. Hmm. 
what you buy and what you sell on me. So they woke up. Usually on my desktop, I turn it down a lot. Oh. It just overrides a lot of things. Yeah. Kind of annoying. I wish the PS4 had more as my wall. Oh shit, extensions now work on mobile. No, oh, nice. Yeah. What kind of extensions? <clears throat> I have a Streamlabs I'd extension where something. I can make polls, uh, request a song, I have a song queue. There's little mini games if we're taking a break. Where well, that's really cool. Okay. Oh, this sounds a lot better. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the big problem was um, the game was Low, low and i had it set to um a wider angle oh okay yeah so, cardioid will help with that yeah and now that we're both directly in front of it it helps i carry their hearts and mind and their eyes with me okay rest in peace aaron i have a feeling she blacked out <laughs> i hope so girl needs sleep mm -hmm. Ooh, stuff. Ooh, 60%. Get that. Golly. Now go put it on something. What do you say we put on the trip caster? No. <laughs> don't you dare. Shadow Hunter. Uh, yeah, it's either going to be this one or the one of these. The, the sniper bow or the regular bow. Use the sniper bow more. Do I? Yeah. And also it's got really low handling. 31. Could be no, better. Yeah, it could be better. Oh. Well, those are all very important. God damn it. Okay, we'll 
put it on this one because that one's only 39%. Yeah. Where is it? Go! That's going to be beautiful. Do you have any more damage portals or anything? Uh, yeah. I don't think I have anything that's better than this. 38. Yeah. Nah, I mean, remember, you just bugged out these things, so. I know. I'm very on top of that. From the free terror. Yeah, we have that one. What about on the other one? We're about at peak here. <laughs> well, I mean, now you can start selling them. Yeah. And get rid of anything that's blue. Because, you know, I'm really run out of coins here. Okay. Here comes. By the rain, oh, Virgil, son, get I can't keyboard. believe it. <laughs> you fucked it all up. <laughs> I thought that evil rock jewel would grind you up. After that miracle, <laughs> all we can do is wait. Vanasha will be here soon, along with a boat that'll take the royals across the lake. Here. Virgil, come here, baby. Virgil, come here. Look, I got something for you. Hi. Just give that to him. Oh. Ah, little Huntress. Glad you accepted my invitation to play bodyguard. Where are your men, Eve? It looks like something chewed you up and spat you out. That's Rude. pretty much exactly what happened. The way is clear. Can we go? I like <laughs> how you always cut to the chase. In this case, literally. It won't be long before it follows. Man, that woman is fucking built. Don't be afraid, <laughs> your radiance. We've got excellent protection. Is that the... Holy shit, that is her. Uh. That was the girl with the cowl and everything. That was the... That was the woman. I mean, yeah. Yeah, but no, she's fucking stacked. Oh. At least I think that's her. Her. Yeah, no, that's her. Shit. It's a hard world out there. Do you want me to toss it? Sure, but you have cats, so Don't I can stay it. here just right now. Oh, dear. Here come the shadow oh carter, and they're very yep. angry with me. I'll hold them off. Very noble of you, but when I start a fuss, I like to finish it. Not that your assistant isn't welcome. Quadiv, get Itaman and his mother to the shore. Carefully. So it comes to this. I must say, after two years under the heel of these zealots, I'm ready to extract a little blood. I like her. You wanna do this? So where am I going? You're gonna go fight the Karja with her. Some traps would be nice. Bitch. There is she. Shall we prepare a little surprise for them? Are you sure you don't have any traps, little Huntress? Give me a fucking second, man. the bastards get ready
Should have brought a cart. Give me a minute, game. I'm working on it. Going through corpses. Wants me to talk to her, and I'm standing here. And... No talk prompt. Nope. I don't think that's her then, because that's not your objective marker. No, it won't. There we go. I don't want to jinx it, but we might be in the clear. Suddenly, thousands of people. Yeah, it looks like battle of the. A bit lines. late, aren't we, gentlemen? Sorry, ma'am. The boat's waiting. Yay! Oh, what's I up? Another one comes back. This one's mine. Get to the boat. You know, this time I think I might be out of my league. If anything happens to her, <laughs> I will be very cross. Well, We're not going anywhere. <laughs> right in the background. Oh, at least you get bros. Yeah, like that's gonna help. And they're gonna distract. Plus, uh, yeah, no, corrupted machine give us a ton more experience. I can't spare the weight. I dropped a couple of, uh, corrupted ravagers once for like 10 grand a pub. There are no behemoth corrupted machines. I mean, that thing really wasn't all that hard to kill. Again, easy difficulty. No, I got, I was able to get underneath him without getting uh, hit, which helped a lot. All right, all right. Disc launcher. All right. Oh, another one of these mountains. No, oh, nice. Uh oh. Oh, I guess when you investigate those mounds, they like mm -hmm. they explode. Oh, hello. What's up? I'd have to leave something else behind. Oh no. Uh oh. Thunderjaw heart. Drop a chill water canister or something. I rarely use ice ammo. Mm. Yeah, drop that. I don't use any of the roots or anything like that. I can pick up this. What is it? 
just how much shit you need to get. Mm -hmm. oh. It's annoying. I hate having to leave shit behind. <laughs> Oh well. <sighs> how long will the stream be? I never say how long I'm gonna be streaming because I don't know. <clears throat> yep, we're just here to have a good time. Oh. Yep. Tony's got the cat. We're down to 65 uh, echo shells. Okay. Not exactly a royal barge, is it? Oh well, defectors can't be choosers. Let's get aboard, shall we? Hey. Got tired of it? Yeah. Done a good thing. Maybe even ended a war. Shutter shades. Maybe. But my war just keeps going. Look by shutter shades. War never changes. <laughs> she just dropped that shit. But my war keeps going. <sighs> well, we are on a lake, so it would be nice if they would let me control it. Oh, <clears throat> Fish. Nothing to fear. You are now under the protection of the Sundom. My protection. As is your mother, she will not be harmed. You have my word, the law of the sun. Aloy, it seems I see your influence everywhere. You've done so much for the Sundom, and it will always be appreciated. You have my thanks. May you walk in the light. Appalling. I spent two years in the Forbidden West setting this up, and the redhead gets all the credit? I'm still getting paid, right? You'll be lucky if I let you live. I couldn't have done this without you. When we meet again, I'll give you a proper thanks. I promise. She says. Fish! Give me that. Oh, and it's green. And you've got something. That's what? Yes. No. Can't carry it. Oh, fuck that. No. Merchants here, I should just. I've got all the best goods here. Check out 
Did it seriously? It grabbed the meat. Ah! <laughs> Uh, I think I've used them for everything that they're used for. Okay. Generally, they're for like fast travel bags. Which you have a load of. Well, which I have the gold. How now. did he get so close to this thing? Merchant! Salesman. All you gotta do is look for the radar. There he is. Well, we're locked on. Okay. Oh, there you go. that spare one there? One heart? This one? Uh, the one next to it. The heart. The other side. One more. Whoop. Watch your heart. What's the strider? strider. Saw four of those uh, braids there too. That was only one of them. That wasn't. Oh, you mean crystal and luminous? The different. Yeah, no, but there are two crystal and two luminous. You can saw off those three of those. The Asaram have gone too far this time. Durval should die for his crimes. 
What's up? Yep. Alright, what are we crafting? Alright, so you can craft this. More outfits. Or that. More orchestra ammo. I definitely don't need the outfits, I'll tell you that. Alright, we'll go for this one. Raccoon skins. Yeah, I have a feeling that's going to be a need for all. But I think. Oh, those were the only ones we used fish bones for, huh? Mm -hmm. No, well, there might be more. The outfit thing. Those two. The rest was fox and raccoon stuff. Yeah, but after you get one upgrade, you might need another. So. You. 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 And. You. Alright. So we got a rare on one of these. Nice. Fish skin. Oh, I think we need that. Yeah. Well, two fish skins. I think we need another. I wish there was an easier way to fish in this game. Uh, fish bone. I'm sure y'all joined us to watch fish sim. It's a real shame we can't spear them out of the water, but that's life. Yeah. That'd be too good. Alright, so out of all those, we got a fish bone. Oh no, wait, we got another fish skin. <clears throat> We're doing it. Animal talisman tail. Well, it's not a fish skin, though. It's <laughs> still a rare item. Also, the easiest way to do it instead of marking them all is just quick scope them. Yeah, I saw you doing that. Well, they move too much. Like, if you don't spook them, they're really easy to get. That'll be a bone. It's obviously how you fish. Mm -hmm. And considering I have a feeling we're not coming back doing this for a while. Might as well just do Yeah, from here I think it's the end of the game. Mm -hmm. We've united the cards here. <laughs> Protected Meridian from the end of the world. Ooh. Nice. Drop mm -hmm. a bomb in That's there. what I'm about to do, actually. You need to equip it. How? Uh, go to your menu. Inventory, weapons, and then select it. Yep. Down. Bam. Let's just make sure there's something here. Yeah. Well, shit. <laughs> what a good idea. Yep, nope. Doesn't do shit. <laughs> Okay, well, back to what we were doing. I can't tell if that's white or blue. 
That one's blue right in front of us, by the way. that it floats. <laughs> Doesn't do shit. I wonder if you could shoot it and make it explode. Possible. I'll try it when I get back to shore. <laughs> nope, it's gone. No. I didn't even have to use the fucking... We'll see what you can uh, put together now that you have two fish. <laughs> Oh, so wait, we have the fit. Go back to that other one. This one? Yeah, we have the bone, but not the fatty meat. <laughs> yeah. Which you will get from fish, so go grab that meat. Bitch swam faster. Right. Like I said, it, when I was like, you led me to a lake, I was like, fuck. <laughs> Crocodile don't need a shit. Skins. Then you need raccoon bone, fox skin, raccoon skin, rat bone, raccoon skin, and fox skin. So we, we're hunting foxes and raccoons. And the local wildlife. See any local wildlife. <laughs> what? I 
think I have all the pouch upgrades online, but I remember just hating the entire process. You know? Like, it was awful. What is that? Ancient debris. Hey. Ancient sculpture and ancient wreath. Selling stuff. My oh, jam. Hey, box. Is it? Yep. I can tell from its saunter. Just gonna... Looks good. Not another fox for miles. Yeah. Foxes and rats were my biggest concern. Like, rats are so small, I have a hard time seeing them. Wait, there's a rat right there. Got it! I just wasted an arrow on a rat. And all I got was tiny meat. Got the small meat. I've got all the best goods here. Take a look at these wares. Bitch, I'm about to shoot. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. I feel like she's just staring at me. Yelling at me. At you, at you. Buy what you need, leave the rest. Take over. Alright. Alright, we back. Pro time. Again. You might want to sell the corrupted reef. Yeah, I was gonna go. It was only a matter of time before an awesome huh. Huh. It's gonna be so nice when you don't have to carry all this shit around anymore. What do you mean? You'll like what I the, have uh, for resources. sale, I promise. Why wouldn't I carry it around? No, because once you have all the upgrades, you don't Oh need. yeah. It takes this a shitload of stuff. The other stall was down here. <sighs> oh well. Which means that you can go further without having to sell. And it's great. I don't really think about it like that. I like it because I've gotten to the point where I can just sell all my lenses and everything. Mm. So. I just kind of like them around. Well, I hold on to them until I get to a merchant. And it's like. You see, I don't get it. I just hold on to them. There's another. Right yeah. Red Rock Handbag Company. Well, we didn't know we were in Utah. Mm -hmm. Let's see, that's all metal burn, echo shells. Like, I think I did a good amount of selling. But. You can also sell that tiny meat. Yeah. <laughs> One. It says it's used for crafting, but I haven't seen shit. Yeah, right no, now. I'm going to, because you never know when any of those will pop up. You can also sell the Strider and the Watcher lenses, because you run into those a lot. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Crystal Brady. Animal Talisman Tail. Oh, it's a selling thing. Yeah. Nice. I got that from the fish. Yep. Luminous Brady. Hey. Or two. Uh, sell the scrappers and watcher hearts you can like striders and watchers are things you run into so fucking often yeah i don't know what you would use for them like it's a lot of these say trading with merchants and selling for shards so mm. have you ever done any merchant trades where you needed them yeah okay. uh, it's for like weapons and outfits okay yeah like the outfits that you were looking at were like you know one rock breaker heart yes. Yeah, plus the shards. But everything you want, like... Yeah, I've got already, pretty much. Not only that, but, like, the Stra Strider and Watcher lenses are gonna be for, like, beginning game bullshit. Yeah. And God forbid you have to go gamble and play. Right. They're everywhere. I don't run into scrappers very frequently anymore. These I run into all the time. Yeah, because you have to kill them. Because you accidentally pissed them off. Yep. <laughs> 
those are rare AF, though. Yeah. Let's see, I have... You actually have some inventory now, so I wouldn't be worried about it. I still need all these sparkers. So. You say that, but you're going to run into a situation here. Oh no, my spark ammo. Where'd it all go? Uh, Johnson's good night. Good night, man. Good night. Alright, so how much inventory space do we have? You have... 19. Which isn't too bad. Nah. Is alive and Considering it goes by stack. I just wish that you could make stack bigger. Yeah. There's a quest down there. Where you're at? In the city? Oh, a new one? Yeah. You do that, or you could the go to the end of the game. Oh, no, I'm going to do this quest. We'll do this quest. What should I have for sale? I promise. It's, it's up to you. Awesome. We'll see what it is. It's some bullshit. Go find 30 strider rockets. I barely turn a profit even in the best of times. As would you care for some fruit? Better Has someone it. been stealing? Yes, almost every night. Have you found any sign? Just a couple of old rhymes. Why haven't the guards looked? The guards blame the wildlife. But I doubt they been. Is there anyone you s I've known most people here since childhood. Not I know how to track. I could look for the thief. Really? Thank you. You could start in my storehouse by the river. Someone must be desperate to steal rather than just ask me. I'll see what I can find. Better wares. Won't yeah, find, but... Okay. Alright, so we're doing this. Okay. If you stuck with us, everybody, we're gonna go finish this game. Maybe. Possibly. I have no reason to believe this is not the end of the fucking game. But yeah, I have that uh, Nora Stealth Heavy oh, nice. with a uh, 60% Stealth Weave on it. Wow. How did you find 60%? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure it was in one of the cauldrons. Like, I get really lucky in the cauldrons with what I find. I also have like three Stealth Weaves on it. Nice. And it has like 40% melee for some reason. Mm. So like, I feel good, but I'm still dying a lot. to stop being a bitch and turn down the difficulty, I think. Because I'm actually enjoying playing on your profile. It's a lot of fun. It's fun when you're not dying every ten steps. Mm -hmm. Like a pack of grazers is like the end of the world. Or falling every ten steps. I'd rather fall than get my neck Sergeant down. was bad enough. But at least we... Yeah, seriously, I take ten steps and I'm done. That sucks. I can't stop imagining. Yeah, I would get pissed off really quickly too. I keep getting killed by just packs of watchers. Yeah. And it's like, watch yourself, Outlander. That's why I got so good at sharpshooting. One day, our son came here the next. Fall damage. Yeah. I wish you could just repel down here. That would be nice. When you gave me the controller, it feels like it's under my skin. The next thing, I was like, uh. I don't know how to get back up. And I died and it put me back up at the top, so I was like, okay. Huh. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. Yeah, I forgot he was here with us. Yeah. He's probably like, I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. <sighs> I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. Get it? No distractions. Yeah. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until Honora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila, for her. All the deepest secrets of the Earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan.
Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. Everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one risking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Wow. Explore the Project Zero Dawn facility. Mm -hmm. We're doing it. Time to see if I was right. Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? Okay, so I found two data pads essentially saying, hey, we need support here in the reception area, uh, including translators and sedatives because there are a bunch of angry, scared people down here. I mean, that's... Yeah. Part of the course. Yep. Please take a seat and wait yep. for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. Oh, she's smaller beverages. emails to Brad. It does. <laughs> Very passive aggressive. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. Think about giving them more food. They do they do try and bulk up hmm. restocker else. Man, these are all sounding like me. Yep! <laughs> Yep! <laughs> One more egghead throw a tantrum. 
organic cucumber, mint, or blackberry sage, brutals, and then please respond in this time, you know, tempest and a teapot or steep demand jokes, okay? Oh my god, it's me! That is literally me at work! Yeah, it sure is. Can we please restock the prison blend? He actually jumped up here. No. I'm cold. Actually, I'm just hungry. Since we don't have a camera, up, I have a key. I have a very small key. Now, when she stretches out, she's still no verbal. That's but... true. See, she crawled up my chest. Oh. Oh, she's sitting there. Hmm. This is nice. What about this? Also, hello to all of our five viewers. Probably more. Thanks for staying with us. You'll be treated to the end of the game. It's true, it's true. What, what was this place? A holographic theater. CB01 data intact. Initiating playback. What is it? Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it.
I think you might be right, honestly. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? So humans live up on the moon and they give orders to the androids. No. There you go. <laughs> Actually, it's uh, more and more what it's looking like. But humans exist still. It is accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities, they don't just kill people. They feed off them. Not just people, all organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to bloody fire. In a word, yes. Who did this? Is he here? No, doctor. Tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Let this go. Games like go, go listen. Yep. <laughs> Want to discuss? Whew. So mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, it was always end times this and leak of fire that on kind of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My tastes run classic. Compliments to your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty, too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey, I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee? Conflict cappuccinos? Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just... Hey, Packy. Oh, what's up? worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line self-replication routines? I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since... since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just... I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all. My work, and I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but Ted could really sell a concept, and, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run, when, when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light, there were no limits. God, there were no limits. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we could negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. 
You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Hera said. So then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? Gee, I wonder. That sucks. Being with Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the General said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, That's not just after the second earthquake mm. compromised the reactor. I still dream about it, after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging, slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. It's funny, Packy mentioned Breath of the Wild, and... This game was considered to be like the PS version of Breath of the Wild, but now that we're actually getting through it, it's more like the precursor in Neuron of Mana. Yeah. Because we all thought it was like, oh, you're gonna hunt robot dinosaurs, that's gonna be fun. It seemed more like a fantasy universe than a sci-fi universe. Yeah. Not what it says on the tin. Uh, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not gonna fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow. And you have to get somewhere real National heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow, and you have to get somewhere real fast. I, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is, is not gonna happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, alright? If you could try to remain calm. But you people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock! No one's getting off! Medical! CDO2 data intact. 
initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And right. that's just yeah. the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. The From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged is. atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life, Artemis, the and then, hunter. when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle they, facilities uh, around the globe yeah. will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, the sun God. our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing uh, to achieve it. Oh, you can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia. We can Feral give it a future. Like last, fuck you as well. Join me and help make that future real. One of these things did not work out. The whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. So you did spoil Elizabeth. everything for yourself? No, I just spoiled one thing, and I was like, oh, that's for life for us. But why Hades, then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead.
for Og. Of course I'll do it. To be given the opportunity to rebuild what I, uh, the, the, the damage that I, well, I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, it, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margo, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It, it just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. But this. The, the, the better than rapid innovation. A, a better at competing, better than the next guy, a, a better killing machine. <laughs> it's just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard to earn this for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I that there could be uh, atonement. If you're still nauseous. No. The inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this. But the damage is too great. Too extensive. Too complete. With all respect to Dr. Sobek's work at Miriam, no. No. Life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back. Like Syzygy East. Like the Congo. Like Timor. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family? I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. A habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Albert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48-hour waiting period, after which... There was another one. I think this was the first guy. Well, no, I mean, to your left. Right there.
that's the one. I feel like, I think that might have been it, but I feel like there's another one here that I thought was on the other side of a wall. Yeah, this guy. Is he to make sure I behave this time? Security, for your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure, no. I'll tell you. I'm surprised. No, flabbergasted. Like my old man would say, flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought, I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a space flight project. But now I can see it's worse. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist, a, a dangerous fantasist. He's kind of blue skying. It's. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. No, I'm, I'm ready to leave now. I'm afraid now. that's not possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. Oh, what are you... You don't... Uh, get your hands off me! Must be a detention room. We've been through here. Yep. Intruder! Get her! Whatever you do, don't die now. Thanks. I hashed it out with them, what the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere, well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. For there to have been all this, and then... Nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, 
I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot-blooded. So I said I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. Counselor said I might change my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake, I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe, anyway. Now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day, I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute, and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor? Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero Dawn and no man. That ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural it'll be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too, just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. I mean, that's one way to look at it. Yeah. Zero Dawn. He is art, in a way. An expression on the I must have missed scale. this chick's uh, intro. There is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Sylvain? Christina Sylvain? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. But he once attended one of my tours. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in the auditorium, that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair. Not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art. Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history. An echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. Need to restore power. Oh, is that what I gotta do? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, restore power to the floor, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can do that from the back bottom left. Oh, fantastic. Here. area nearby. That I guess I would unlock with this. Seem to find the I have a feeling it's back here. Computer with a code. There's something over there. Where? Here. What else has some place? Oh, it's not. Hey, 
I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Mm. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Everything's backwards, huh? Yep. So... What's the sequence here? I can barely see it. Oh, there it is. Oh. Up, right, down, left, up. Or, well, sorry. Down, right, up, left, up. Either that or it means read it from the bottom. No, oh, read it from the bottom. You're right. So... Up, right... Oh, I can't move these. Yeah, I need to... So that means up. But I don't know if they go left or right. Yeah. Oh, I walked right past it. Okay, so we'll do this one the right way. So that would be... Left. Left. Up. up. Left. left, down, right. Left, up, left. Down, right. Yeah. And then this will unlock the storage room. I think right. Yeah. And then we'll go get the other piece. And then we'll build that. <laughs> we should check the door nearby. Let me tell you what I think. <laughs> Don't go down there. There you go. Found one. Looks intact. Oh well, I guess you can make that. I don't know with you. Yeah, I don't know either, honestly. Right. So yeah, that was just the back of that room, okay. <laughs> okay, so now we install this part and then do it backwards. So it'll be trick. Right to left. Now let's get that door open. So yeah, so we'll go up. Yeah. Right. Sorry, left, because it's upside down, so it'd be backwards. I think we're just supposed to read it from the bottom up. Left to right. Right, but that would be down. No, no, see you're But we're reading it up this way. See, Pharaoh is upside down. Oh, I didn't down. notice that. So okay. Down, left, up. Yeah, so let's see. I didn't notice the pharaoh part. Good looking out. Yeah, so left. Down, left. Up. Which it already is. Right, up, up, right down. That did it. Nice. We should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. I would be the asshole installing shit upside down, we all know it. Hmm. Actually, oh, sorry my dyscalculia got in the way. I'm pretty sure it's here. Oh, what's up? The Dragonborn is here. Yep. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? <sighs> so much for avoiding contact. Yeah. I don't know, stack shine glasses, but I want to. 
Nate, there's another one. Right in front of you. I oh, see I something. Oh. Another two left. Right. Another two left. Anyway, get moving. You have to find Gaia. We have to find data packs first. Yeah. That's a whole other character. This data pack to your left. Yeah. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that. Oh. Bitch. Did I say to shut up? Oh, I guess that was the hollow projector. Look how I don't run into any of those fucking things for ages, and then now there's the Yeah. No, I kind of think that's the idea. Yeah, but give me something during those main quests and stuff. No, give I me agree. Interested. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like... You probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? I don't get it. <laughs> it's a little technical in places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. I've seen these shapes before. God in cauldrons. Damn it. But of course. The birthing places of Gaia's machines. So basically when you're getting information it stands still. Yeah, I guess. There's like four people watching. I don't think they'll mind. I just didn't want to bore anybody. You're not gonna bore anybody. There's something right there. Where? Straight ahead. Yeah, that's just oh, a hollow okay. projector. I didn't know because it was still lit up. Yeah. So. Looks like that's it for this zone. So. Let's go back in here. You can go up. 
to your left. There's something behind one of those rocks. Which rocks? The ones right there. Please? Yeah. I saw something glowing. Oh, those lights. Damn it. They need to make the lights not look like everything else. Right. I get it's an aesthetic, but it's a stupid aesthetic. I don't like the design shows. You can go up in so... Yeah, I know. So this is where you started. Oh, good. Good. So now we can retrace our steps. Uh -huh. This area does look pretty, uh, green. <laughs> Locked and loaded. Locked on. Nice. Uh, pretty barren, to complete my thought. <laughs> At least as far as intelligence is concerned. Well, um, I still see Shrek going up. Yeah, I mean, we'll go up. We'll get there. But there was more facility to be had behind that, uh, Hephaestus room. Alert. So where do I go up? Area in excess of um, Elevators non-operational. I thought I saw a way. Stair alert. Structural failure prevents access. I guess not. Like, if you find some of that stuff, you can get up. I've heard it called Hephaestus, so... Technically, both are correct. Uh, the A-E in Latin has an I sound. So yeah, Hephaestus would be right. Technically speaking. But the normally accepted colloquial is A... Don't, don't care, I'm right. That's Hepha all I to Hephaestus. Don't care, I'm right. That's all you do. Oh, look. up. Oh. oh, look. Stairs. There you go. That's where you're supposed to go, too. Bueno. Get it. Going around. It's glass. Oh! I didn't know there was a gap there. And you thought I was dead. <laughs> mm. And y'all left at me. No, I just went, why are you doing that as glass? Well, I knew it was glass. But I thought maybe if I got closer and had a better angle on it. Mm. I'm sure you'll pass through there. Yeah. Yeah, it's right there. So. Don't jump down. That's where you were. Right. I think this is it. Unless it's glass. Sobeck's office. I'm, I'm just making sure. <laughs> There's got to be a way inside. Keep looking. So yes, you'll be in there. Sobek's office, so. Yeah. There are oh, look. For days. More eclipse. Careful now. I love how unshocked she sounds. Yeah. Oh look. More of these fucks. I'm thinking break though. I'm sorry? I'm thinking quick break though. Oh, um, yeah, we can do that before we get into this fight. 